We didn't learn social skills in school. I'm like, that's okay, man. You can learn them now, you know? Outer space is filled with tons of space rocks. And those rocks are made up of rock, metal, ice, methane, unknown chemicals. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... NASA is going to moon the moon. Wait, NASA is going to put a moon around the moon. Wait, what? Yep, it's true. NASA's grand scheme idea to protect us from dangerous, potentially hazard asteroids and near-Earth objects is to go out to an asteroid, pluck a boulder off of it, and then sling it into orbit around the moon so the moon will have a moon. Now, the first question that pops into my brain is, hey, wait a second. You know all those asteroids like QE2 that had a moon and then YL86 that we saw had a moon? If asteroids have moons, how come the moons don't have a moon? You know, and how come the moon is locked and doesn't spin around? That's pretty weird. Someone once told me a conspiracy theory that the moon itself was an alien spaceship, that they go from planet to planet, sucking out the resources like the gold, diamonds, oil. I'm like, hey, no, wait, that sounds crazy. But it's a crazy world, and who knows? But in this episode, we were talking about NASA's plan to put a moon around the moon. And that sounds either stupid or dumb or crazy or all three. You know what stupid is and stupid does? Crazy is as crazy does, and moronic is as moronic does, and idiotic is as idiotic does. You get the picture. So, let me get this straight. If there is a one-mile-sized, potentially hazard near-Earth asteroid headed our way, NASA's plan would be to then grab the asteroid, a mile size, and then sling it towards the moon, around the moon? That is really the best idea you can come up with? Krusty the Clown running NASA? What is going on here, man? But you know what? We kid NASA a lot. But you know, NASA is compartmentalized to where I'm sure a lot of people believe what is going on is real. When the truth of the matter is, they probably got a direct order from even authorities higher than the U.S. government that basically say, okay, we need you to put on a dog and pony Keystone Cop show for like 50 years so we can hide the actual technology that exists under the umbrella of national security. That way continuing a war-based fiat currency debt slavery economy across the world which we have now which is why the media pushes such hard divide and conquer on us so it's really not nasa's fault i'm sure a lot of them believe everything that is going on some of them anyways and they really think all the crap they're telling us is real because the crap is probably only known by 10 to 20 guys of what the real truth is so it's really not their fault and they're set up to be the bag man. So we all get to be like, hey, NASA, why do you suck so bad? And they're like, we have no idea. It's the politicians. And everybody just blames the politicians. But the truth of the matter is, you got some high up head honchos running the show. And they have put a lockdown on letting everybody know what the real technology is. I mean, come on. We've been running oil in our cars, gasoline, since 1888. You know, can you name another technology that has not improved in 135 years? 137 years. I'm bad at math. Okay. So, A, I want to dispel some of the anger towards NASA because they probably really don't know. And they're doing the best they can. Congress orders them to act like an idiot. They got to act like an idiot. So, yeah, here we get a stupid idea. Looks like a total waste of money. And when people bitch about the money NASA wastes, it's nothing compared to the 0% interest rates or the $5.5 trillion we spent on quantitative easing or the $4 trillion we spent on Iraq. We invaded a country that did nothing wrong, you know what I'm saying? And then we destabilized that country, we created ISIS, and here we are. So yeah, the moon idea is stupid. I guess that, that's the summation of this wonderful Thor News video. Uh, great.